This is I Love Limerick.com in association with Limerick Leader TV. I'm Michelle and I'm here with Limerick's newest ambassador, our recently crowned Miss Limerick, Gemma Riley. Gemma, thank you for talking to us. No problem. Gemma, a, a recent win for you and a fantastic night. I was, I was there for it. Why did you decide to enter the Miss Limerick competition this year? It was unexpected, but it was something I never thought I'd have the courage to do and I never thought I'd have the confidence to do it, but it came up and a lot of my friends were saying you should do it and they suggested it and I work with Anna Holland who was a former Miss Limerick and she got involved and she started persuading me and at first I was saying no way, no how but I went home and I was talking to my mum and she was just saying Gemma it's an opportunity don't pass it up do you know some of our biggest regrets are the opportunities we pass up so I thought about it and I entered never expecting to win of course there was 34 absolutely lovely girls and stunning and it was just it was phenomenal to win it it was just a great experience what was the feeling when your name was called out i didn't even hear it <laughs> I, no i didn't hear it it was it was just a total shock i kind of i thought i heard it and i went and it was actually the girl beside me lorna she just grabbed my arm and she went that's you like she screamed it and i walked up and i think i kind of just stuck my head around the stage for a minute to, just to make sure kind of and they were like come up so just a total buzz it was absolutely phenomenal and I was just I then I genuinely didn't know what to say then I, that was the most embarrassing time because you're so stuck for words and I my mouth just dropped and I think if anyone got photos of like that moment I'd say they don't look too good <laughs> I've seen them you, you were fine but there was there was very little time for it to sink in and to enjoy that and suddenly to be right back in again because it was only one week later that you headed off for Miss Universe Ireland yeah exactly um, I felt I was really thrown in the deep end with Miss Universe Ireland but all my friends were they said it and they were right they said if I had I had any more time I wouldn't have done it because I cried so much. I think I've never cried so much. 20 years of age and I was crying on mom's lap saying, I can't do it. I'm not wearing a bikini. I'm not going out. And do you know, mom was like, you have to grow up here. Do you know, it's an opportunity. Go do it. And I think when you face a big fear like that, you just, there's a sense of accomplishment. And um, it was a brilliant experience. I don't regret a minute of it. And I just learned so much from it. And it was just brilliant. And like that, then Rosanna Pressel won. And we were all just so supportive and just delighted that she's representing us as well, do you know? So it's, it was brilliant. I think that you just saying that would be an eye-opener for a lot of people because there can be this horrible perception of the girls who would go forward for those competitions as being so full of themselves and so oh, body yeah. confident and, and so happy to get up in a bikini on stage. That's not the case. Not at all. Um, no, and I would have, been totally honest, I would have had that impression as well. I would have been like, oh, they're so full of it. And do you know, they just love being seen and I entered and I would not be like that at all and I felt so conscious. I mean, I don't think there is anybody who doesn't have an insecurity. Everybody knows their own flaws and I felt going out on stage that there was 400 people fully dressed and it's so easy for them to sit there and criticise. Do you know? And you know where all your flaws are and you know what you're conscious of and you're so insecure but I think it's a lovely sense of accomplishment and you just feel, do you know, I did it and how many people can say that do you know they've done something like that? So it was, it was, it was brilliant. Absolutely. Now I know you, you're a singer, and you haven't made so many moves as to bring that into the public just no. yet. It's obviously something to be quite nervous about. Yeah. I know you're naturally a little bit shy, but do you think having done this, having gone through this process, you might feel a bit more confident yeah. to showcase it? Oh, absolutely. It was a huge help. Um, since I was four, do you know Whitney Houston? I don't know. Do you listen to her? Do I know Whitney? Oh. If I could sing, I'd do it with you. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. And since I was four, my dream was to sing. But it's something that I always put to the back of my head. I was like, you'll never go for it. Do you know, don't be stupid. And do you know, there's so many people out there that are better than you. And I felt the same going in for Miss Limerick. I was like, why would you bother? There's so many people that are prettier, or skinnier, or nicer. And, you know, you think, why bother? But eventually I got persuaded to do it and it was a lot of what I'm studying as well do you know the personal development and confronting your fears and believing in yourself and I went for it and it was all just the positive thought and it just gave me so much confidence even before I had won Miss Limerick when I came off stage I felt you did it and I think that was the biggest excitement in me was like you are, do you know you were so terrified for so long so now I think I just need to kick myself a little bit and Maybe go for it. So the chances are we could see you on stage with a microphone soon. 
soon I don't know but hopefully sometime it's in the, in the near future yeah definitely <laughs> which is fantastic but you're you're a living example of you know practicing what you preach absolutely you're studying this tell, yeah. tell me a little bit more about your studies um I'm studying personal development and life coaching with Moira Geary Mind Experts Academy and from a young age I've always been taught do you know you have to believe in yourself and I'm I'm a firm believer in God and everything and like positive thinking and I just I felt that I couldn't teach it unless I really did believe in myself and my self confidence wasn't great. Um I was bullied a lot in school, do you know, as most people are, but I felt going into secondary school I was always trying to be someone that I wasn't and everyone does it. Do you know it's a f- just fake it and you make it I suppose. But um the stuff I'm studying is all about whatever you want or whatever you put into your mind is actually achievable and it's just about believing in yourself and once you have someone to believe in you that it's all possible so I feel if I don't go for my dream then I can't really sit in front of a class and say go for your dream I never went for mine so it's well, kind of a first step. I've no doubt but you'll be very effective in that field I saw a little bit of it firsthand. Uh, we were backstage at the the Miss Limerick event yeah and before anyone went out on stage t- tell me a little bit about what happened there I know what t- tell us the story. We were backstage, it was actually me being a crybaby again and I was at the counter that morning and mum mom had to do everything because I just, I freaked out so she, she was great, she was so supportive of my sister. They were packing my shoes, my dresses, everything and I was having a little bit of a whinge and I was like I can't do it, I'm too scared and mum has a calendar full of positive thoughts and it was actually happened to be the 1st of July and it was some of our principal regrets in life, in life are the opportunities we pass up and the chances we never took and I was like okay and it just kind of it hit a spot and I was like do you know cop on what's the like I had nothing to lose absolutely nothing to lose so yeah it was brilliant and you you got to give the girls a little affirmation yeah I told the girls and I think I don't know we were we all felt the same and I knew how they were feeling and I just said I'd say to them because it helped me so I thought maybe it'll kind of make them feel a little bit more confident out there. So. No, I think it went down very, very well uh, on the night, certainly. You've you've mentioned a couple of times your mom and how supportive she's been. Yeah. You mentioned your sister there and, and Anne O'Halloran, who you work with, a, yeah. a former Miss Limerick. Obviously very strong female role models in your life. Oh, definitely. Are there others that you would look up to? There is. I think Celia, Celia Holman Lee is a great... Yes. I just think she's phenomenal. She's a woman, do you know, who came from very little, I would assume. Do you know, back then there wasn't a lot of money and... She just has class and she has power. It's all, you know, she believes in herself and she was telling us, she's such an inspiration. She was telling us, she was like, when you walk down that street, she said, hold your head high because she said there, there is people who will try and bring you down. She said there is people, there is people who will be jealous of you or who will put you down. And it's the same everywhere. And there will be others who build you up. But we were focusing on believing in yourself and... I mean, she went for a celebrity salon, and I probably shouldn't say this, but she was telling us that she was freaking out, and she was so nervous, and she said, oh, I'll make a fool of myself. But that was one of her fears, and she just went for it, and it was, again, it was the feeling of accomplishment, and she did something that she wasn't totally comfortable with. And I just find, when she walks into a room, everyone shuts up. Do you know, and if she has something to say, and she's respected, and I like that, because she respects herself and believes in herself, and I want that. (laughs) <laughs> well, I, I could certainly see it happening that years down the line we'll be saying, Jamie Riley, she's an inspiration as well. So, you know, you have that platform now Hopefully, and you have that yeah. opportunity to be an ambassador for Limerick. That's that's your job, I suppose, for the next year is is a titled Limerick ambassador. You must be very proud of that. I'm so proud of it, yeah. And it's just such a great opportunity because, obviously, I'm from Limerick, I live in Limerick, but... It's really nice, and I've I think I've done my mom really proud as well. I think do you know it kind of it's close to her heart, and um, as well as that, I'm just so happy to have the opportunity, and to give something back. I just feel I've gained a lot, a lot of experience and knowledge over the last, I suppose the last year mainly, and it's nice to be able to give something back and maybe help a few people or inspire people like I've been inspired. I think you're just a beacon of positivity, Gemma. So I'm sure there'll be plenty <laughs> more positive stories and hopefully a few of them will be down to you. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thanks a million. It was great talking to you.